Sarnayev narrative change. Instead of a radical Muslim, a right-wing extremist. The story follows a BBC production that aired Monday night titled The Brothers Who Bombed Boston. It's a rather provocative title, considering that the younger brother has yet to be charged and the other brother is dead and cannot defend himself. The latest slant in the Brothers Arneas story is marked by the departure from the previous theories as to why they supposedly planted the bomb. You know, they have the surveillance camera footage, but they're not releasing it. And now they're saying instead of being radical Muslims, they're into far right-wing literature. They're into the Second Amendment, and somehow that makes them in league with Hitler. In March, the SPLC sent a letter to Eric Holder and also Jan Napolitano urging a task force to investigate the likes of Alex Jones, We Are Change, Oath Keepers, the Constitutional Party, and as well as many others saying that we're domestic terror threats because we don't go along with the official story. So now, you know, because uh, the, the brothers are naive, allegedly watched Infowars.com, which I definitely recommend that you do as well. And we have the on on saying that she enjoyed our programming. Somehow that makes us accountable to them allegedly blowing things up. Once again, nobody has been convicted of any crime and this. They may have been convicted in public opinion, but other than that, not at all in any actual sense of reality. Now, you see this graphic right here, and this is Jink from Young Turks, and I have no beef with Jink. I, I, the guys do a lot of good work over there at Young Turks. They report on drones and surveillance state and so forth, but they came out day one and said this is probably going to be a right-wing person uh, according to the Boston bombing. You remember that. And that's what the narrative is now switching to. We said a similar thing here at InfoWars, but we said it because we saw this in the TV shows, in the movies, in the video games. You know, the right-wingers, the people who can skin a buck and run a trot line, the people who like the Constitution, the people who like gun rights, these are your terrorists. And so we said, because of that information, there's probably going to be a right-winger. And you remember they said they were going to announce who it was, or at least the suspects. Then they said, no, they killed that, and then came out with the brothers. And even though they're supposedly Muslim extremists, even though Syrian girl seriously doubts that they're even Muslim, uh, identify with that faith, and, but even though that doesn't matter, now there's some type of right-wing extremists, so they're right-wing extremists and Muslim radicals at the same time. And you remember we reported on this back in, on April 17th, officials, Boston bombing likely carried out by domestic terrorists. So you can go back and watch those archives and see that, you know, we were right all along. They tried to spin it, so now Muslims are right-wing extremists as well. viewers have demanded it so now you're gonna get it more pro second amendment gun shows in the month of june what we've learned is you cannot hide behind an i-beam when there's a 50 cal present brothers in arms 50 cal ammo review and more coming in the month of June to the Infowar.